sharing a recipe with us. It's so great to have you here. Thanks I am. for being here. Thank you. Yes. I'm sharing my uh, Aretha's or Riri's peanut butter mm, 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 mm. Mm. shrimp. Okay. okay, you see, I got me maybe about 18 shrimp in here, medium sized shrimp. I'm about to do the Aretha Franklin's. Mm-mm, 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 Good peanut butter, semi-spicy shrimp. She like her spice. I'm going to do mine semi. So I'm not going to add a lot. I'm going to add a lot, but a little bit. Now, i am added more seasons than she normally add, but stop. you got to take a recipe and make it your own. But the concept of this comes from Aretha Franklin. What is this? Don't seem like I'll be having no garlic pepper on there. But I'm going to put a little Old Bay, just a little teeny bit. I'm going to put a little bit of Tony's. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put some lemon pepper here. Yeah, I want that lemon pepper in there. I'm gonna, <coughs> I gotta put a little garlic powder. I'm gonna put, of course, my go-to season, complete season. I'm put a little, some cayenne pepper in there, give it a little kick. Some regular pepper. A little Italian season. And Oh shit. And so, ah, oh, bless me, damn. And some uh, tropical sasson, just a little bit of that. And I'm just going there. I'm gonna get all that goodness up in there. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, baby. Play with any kind of meat. Always play with your meat. Let that season get all up in it. Don't be scared to touch your meat. Touch it, damn it. Whose is it? Yours. Whose shrimp are these? Yours. Yes, baby. Yes, daddy. Yes, poppy. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I'm going to start this peanut butter. Reach your Franklin peanut butter shrimp. I'm going to put it. Almost a half a tablespoon, a tablespoon, almost a tablespoon of butter. Okay. You don't want it too high because you don't want you know butter, butter burns fast, and you don't want to really <coughs> burn your butter. So we're just gonna let that melt up real quick. So now that my butter has melted a little bit, I'm gonna lay these shrimp down in here. And we know how we want to cook them. You know, you cook them till they're opaque pink. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. Ain't nothing like some tough shrimp. People be want to make shrimp fried rice, and they be so, so tough, them shrimp, little shrimp, little ass shrimp. So, yeah, I can put all these in here. gonna just let them go get pink on each side and then we're gonna finish up these Aretha Franklin Queen of Souls peanut butter shrimp I am be I'm throwing the shrimp um, put the garlic in there now and it look like they starting to get ready getting a little pink I'm gonna let them go a little bit more but you notice the pinkness that they're turning Yeah, our pink on um, the other side. Mm -hmm. I just put a large dollop of peanut butter. Mm. And if you really want a lot of sauce, then I use a couple mm -hmm. of uh, large dollops of peanut butter. This is plain peanut butter. I really like peanut butter. Okay. And kind of makes a nice guy. How long did you cook it in there? I cook this until it looks like you have a soul gravy. Okay. All right. Nice. And just work that peanut butter right in with the shrimp. So what do you like to serve alongside it? Alongside of it, you can have your favorite car, potato salad, uh, spaghetti. You have mac and rice cheese, right here. Rice, mm. Steamed rice I like with it. So I'm going to show this is what uh, it looks like when it's cooked down, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it looks like when it's cooked down. And All so right. Can we get the title of it right, one right. more time because I just like the way you say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So read this. Peanut butter. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Shrimp. <laughs> Okay, now my shrimp, they are done, baby. 
I can tell in the texture that they're durham. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some regular Peter Pan, Peter Pan creamy peanut butter. That's what Karen Aretha used. She used creamy. So I'm going to put one dollar and two dollars. Two nice ass dollars of peanut butter in these shrimp. I turned my fire down. I'm a I'm telling y'all, when I first tried it, and you know Aretha Franklin is from Detroit. I love her. I've seen her so many times. So um when I seen her make this, I said I ain't never heard of no peanut, but I've heard peanuts with shrimp, some type of peanut cashew um, sauce, which I meant to buy me some. I meant to buy some cashews and crumble them over the top. Of course, you know, I got the rice already gone. Going, So you got that. Now you're gonna add a couple of squigs of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. And I'll insert the video where she says, you'll see her cooking hers too. Well, she says you have to, uh, it got to look like a dark gravy. But all I know is, baby, when I tasted this, huh, and how good it was to me. I will be putting a little lemon juice in here, though. See that these these are peanut butter shrimp right here. I might add just a little bit, a little teeny bit of water because it's a little too thick. So you gotta know how to you have to know how to maneuver when you a cook. Okay, let me just put a look. I just wanna loosen that up a little bit. I'm gonna loosen it up a bit. I'm gonna let it go real slow so it gets to the color that I know hers was. But I'm telling y'all, I was so shocked at how good this dish it was. You know, I would have never thought to put these two together. Okay, y'all. All right, all right. So now I'm going to start on my asparagus my bacon wrapped asparagus so I'm gonna take I don't need that many one two two four I'm gonna take six out six out now a lot of people when you watch videos and they do asparagus or whatever I love asparagus I a lot of people don't like it but I love asparagus now they tell you, you can just do like this and it'll tell you exactly where to where you need it'll be in right where you where it needs to snap you see that all you do is just let it snap itself. I'm gonna let it snap. I ain't forcing it. It's just snapping on its own where it needs to snap at. See? Exactly where it needs to. Now, these you can make a spirit of soup out of. You can boil and boil and boil them and puree them and all of that. But it's no need for that. Okay, so. I'm gonna rinse them real good and clean too. Hold on. I might want, want one more. Damn. Just one more. I love asparagus. Okay, so I have rinsed them. Real good. I got a pot of, I got a skillet of water, a little water in there, and I'ma just, I'ma do a little more than blanch them. Okay, I got my asparagus in the water, bringing the water to boil. I'm just adding a little salt in here. Okay, the asparagus. You still want it to keep that snap in it, so now, what I'm gonna do, let them go for about two more minutes and then take them out, see, cause yeah, you want them to still have that little snap in it, so about another minute and a half, I'm taking them out. 
Okay, now I need to grate up some garlic for my peanut butter shrimp and and the um, asparagus. You always want to try tie your dishes in together. What flavor you have? It should be one common flavor throughout your dishes, like a medley. You know, so mm, I taste something in there. I would have had a glove on y'all, but I'm so tired of doing this and tearing my glove. Fresh garlic is the best, you guys. Y'all know that, right? Okay, as you can see, I have parboiled my asparagus. I, I did a little bit more than parboil. So, I'm going to put them all on my cutting board here. Okay. What I'm going to do, normally I would do one, but I'm going to do two at a time. You just wrap it up. You just wrap your bacon around it. See that? Isn't that so pretty? And this is where I don't have to use as much bacon either. Okay, bacon, why are you sticking to my glove, damn it? to be perfect, you know, do what you do, yes, okay, wrapped in bacon here, okay, I'm going to do one more, two more of them really, And you know, a lot of people put toothpicks through there so they're able to turn them easier. I got some tongues. Tongues work just as fine. Just as good tongues do. Now at this point, what you wanna do this point what you want to do I'm going to add two things to this or well, three things I'm going to add a little sesame, a tropical sesame, just on one side of them I add a little pepper and uh, my go to seasoning which is my all I mean complete seasoning Okay, a little bit of garlic powder. Now I got some garlic cut up for this, but I won't add it to towards the end because I don't want my garlic to burn. And it's gonna be more like a butter sauce for it. So okay, now that I got that, you can either spray your pan, but I'm gonna rub my pan with some butter. Because I want that butter taste in there. Matter of fact, I am going to put that garlic in there because you only had to cook these two minutes on each side. Ten, I mean, ten minutes on each side, excuse me. It depends on how... It, and then you have to look at your bacon and make sure that it's all right. Now, I, I'm going to go ahead and season this other side too just a little bit. I'm going to put them... I got my oven um, preheated to 400 
degrees. And like I said, maybe 10 minutes on each side, depending on how my bacon is looking. You know, you want that bacon to be that golden brown, baby. Okay, so now with that being said, I'm going to add just a little bit of this garlic to it. A little bit of garlic goes a long, long way. Because I got to save some of this garlic for my peanut butter shrimp. Aretha Franklin's mm -mm, good peanut butter shrimp. Okay, so now we're going to just throw this in the 400 degree oven. Cook it on each side for 10 minutes. Now I'm about to make a pot of rice because I'm going to put Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, mm, 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 good peanut butter shrimp. Okay, I have one cup of rice. And I tell people this all the rice is so easy. I don't see, you don't need a rice cooker, none of that. Rice is so easy. It come out perfect every time. One cup of rice. Okay, but what I like to do is I like to rinse my white rice a couple of times and get all the starch off of it. So I'll let that water run over. See all that starch that's going to come off of there? And you just let it run like that. Let that start to run up. All. It'll become clear. Wait till the water become clear. So you know you do it when you don't spill no, no rice out of there. Well, not much. Okay. Just letting that water. So for every cup of water, I mean every cup of rice, you get two, it's two to one ratio. Two to one. So we're gonna just do that. See how easy that was? See how easy that was. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, a little pat of butter in there. And let it do its thing. And a little bit of salt. And that is the only two things. And what I'm going to do from there is. Okay. So I'm going to put it on real low. And then when it come up to a boil. I'm going I'm to no, put it on medium high. And when it comes to a boil. I'll turn it down real, real low. Low as I can get it. Cover it. And, it, and the rest to do itself. Trust me, perfect rice every time. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Welcome to another episode with cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails, baby. I got my cocktail, but you know what? This right here, this dish right here is... In honor of the Queen of Soul, the best woman to ever touch a mic. There is none after the Queen. Detroit Zone, Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, baby. I have her peanut butter shrimp, baby. Spicy peanut butter shrimp. And my cocktail today is Kool-Aid. Hey, so you got to switch up sometime. So look, I got these two microphones. Baby, I need your loving. Got to have all your love. Okay, y'all, I can't say. Ooh. Okay, so what I have here today, you guys, I have some peanut butter shrimp. Can y'all see that? Some white rice. Some, oh, look at that asparagus and bacon. Come on, y'all. Come on. I know I've been changed. R E S B E C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S B E C T. Take care of a sissy. Socket of Oh, that's not the. Oh, you see. Live your truth. Live your goddamn truth. But don't that look so good, y'all? Look. This is Aretha Franklin's. Mm 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 mm. Peanut butter. Shrimp, spicy peanut butter shrimp. I got I put some rice with that, some asparagus and bacon. Oh, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Come on, you guys. 
Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to be able to have another meal, Father God, so I can have nourishment in my body. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you just for the day. I thank you for right now. I thank you for this minute right here, Father God. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow, and I'm not going to look back at yesterday because I'm thanking you right now in this moment, Father God. Here I am, just as I am, Father God. I love you. I lift your holy name. You are the head. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You're my Father, Father God, and I love you. Thank you in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. All right. What do, what do I want to try first? I think I want to try the asparagus first, y'all. See the asparagus? Can you see it? Can y'all see it? See that asparagus? Wrapped in bacon. Oh, my God. Mmm. As soon as they hit my lip. And wait. Or the seedling. But where? This asparagus is. Thank you, neighbor. My neighbor gave me that asparagus. Mmm. 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 I tell people this all the time. Bacon makes anything taste better. Oh, I can't go on. I can't go on without doing a disclaimer. Y'all know what my disclaimers are. Let me. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, my God. This is so delicious. Oh, here's the disclaimer, you guys. I'm thinking I need to do something with cheese and some cheese over this. Oh, my God. But the disclaimer is this, my people. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. But as you see in the title, it says cooking, comedy, cussing, God damn it, and cocktail. If any of those things offend you, you know when people get a little tipsy, they tell the truth. So that's what we do up in this group. We get a little tipsy and tell the truth. No harm intended. If you weak, you got bitch asses in you, your feelings get hurt real easy. Oh, you can't believe somebody, I can't believe they said that to me type person. This ain't the group for you. But if it is, welcome. And we love you. Hit like, subscribe, share, comment. Come on, welcome to, welcome to the 4C gang. Cooking, comedy, cussing, cocktails. 4C gang for what? For life. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, baby. Mmm. I might sing all night. Yeah. No, technically, I won this war lip sync battle. Most surprising act. And I won this one. Best R&B solo. So tell me how I'm talented. I'm a talented brother. That was a charity I did for, um, oh my God, I forgot what the charity was for. For the sick kids, I did that for free, so I give back. Okay, here we go. Boom. I feel so good. Mm. If y'all don't try this, y'all dumb as hell. If you like shrimp, if y'all don't try this, don't talk to me. This is how fucking delicious. Oh my God. You better think. Look at that. Look at that. That's Aretha Franklin, Queen of Soul. Peanut butter shrimp, baby. Oh, wait, where am I going wrong? Peanut butter shrimp. Eat it. Oh my God. Who would have thought peanut butter and shrimp goes down? Mm-mm. Oh, and his rice makes it so delicious. Y'all notice, do y'all know this sports game? I ain't put, been putting no sugar and butter and rice. I mean, sugar and butter on my 
right? Now, I couldn't eat my grits like that. Oh. Um. Mm-mm. Y'all. Y'all must try to. This is, I think, my third time cooking it, and this is the best. I fell in love. Now, y'all know, I must be telling the truth because you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to waste expensive shrimp on some shit I don't like. If it, if it wasn't good in peanut butter, baby, I would not be putting peanut butter on my shrimp. My queen of soul. Thank you, Aretha. Do anybody... I have any Aretha story. Have anybody ever, ever met her? I've met her, thank God, three times in my life. Well, technically four. Mind you, I love Donna Ross more than I did Aretha Franklin when I was about 13, 14. I know y'all just saying, the typical gay black man like Diana Ross. Bullshit. So anyway, my cousin, rest in peace, Roland Yurko. He been gone since 96. But anyway, he loved, love, love Aretha. And so, I used to talk about Aretha because we would actually battle each other. I mean, cap on each other artists. But then I started listening because he had every collection, every album she ever made, whether it was in blues, jazz, I, I mean, just everything. And so I was listening to it, and I was like, oh, my God, she's saying some powerful shit. It seemed like she came out with a song around every time I was going through exact. Well, her Soul 69 album is the year I was born, and that's my favorite year ever. I mean, favorite album. It's not an Aretha Franklin song that can come on that I don't know the words to. And I didn't try to learn. That's just when you love somebody that much. So, I was sitting at the bus stop one day. I had to be about 17, 18. And these girls, it was about three girls sitting next to me. Downtown Detroit. And a white uh, Rolls Royce pulled up. But we used to see cars. You know, it wasn't nothing different. Yeah, everybody got nice cars down there in Detroit. So, I look, and as soon as I said, the girls was like, hey, Queen, we love you, we love you. She, she did like this. I said, Aretha, I love you. She said, I love you too, baby. Just sitting there with that, oh, I love her. So regal. Oh, one of the most beautiful women. And then the car pulled, it was her and her little fireman boyfriend. But then, I've seen her in concert. I've... Went to her dinner. She used to give her the father's show. It was nothing, really. You know, I go by her house. I, well, I don't go visit. I think they thought I was stalking her. But I would just stand out there and just hum her songs. <laughs> her house not too far from mine. So, I met her that time. And then my cousin Roland was in her Don't Drink and Drive commercial years ago. He wore this big ass hat just so everybody can know it was him. And I got a chance to meet her then. And then I was at her One Lord, One One Lord, One Faith, One Baptism recording at her father's church. Come on, somebody. New Bethel. Let me tell y'all what I wanted to do. Now, see, I love Aretha. I can talk about her all night. So, Aretha, they had, you know, I had looked at the news and it was like Queen of Soul is in the hospital. Um, whatever they had, pray, pray, pray for. So I said, you know what? Mm -mm, I can't handle that. I was like, Jesus, no, no, Jesus. So I put my headphones on and I just was listening to all her songs on YouTube that day. I mean, just every song, and remembering where I was and what I did. I, I remember, oh, okay, we can't even talk about the time I gave up my virginity and that song. Don't play that song for me. Cause it brings back memories. 
I was only 17. How could you ever beat so many? So, Dollar, please don't play it. Oh, don't play that song for me. Because it brings back memories. Oh, of the days that I once knew. Of those days that I spent with you. So, darling, please. Okay, y'all. Oh, I was so in love then. And I was only 17. Jesus. Mm. Yeah. So, I'm, li I'm listening to a song like three hours straight. Crying. Not because she was sick. Crying about, my, you know, I make everything about me. What I was going through through them particular songs. And uh, I turned my head and I looked at the TV and it said, Queen of Soul, Rita Franklin dead. Rest in I lost my everlasting fucking mind. Do you hear me? I jumped up. You know, I never really acted that way about anybody besides my grandmama. I mean, I was crying uncontrollably, uncontrollably. I could not breathe. Oh, and I'm not emotional like that. So I called my mama, who happens to be the real comedian in my family. I'm like, mama, mama. like what the fuck is wrong? Mama, no, mama, did. <laughs> mama, it's a nigga. What the hell is wrong? What? What happened? I said, Mama Rita dead. A Rita dead. I said, A Rita gone. Mama Rita. We <laughs> read. My mama said, Bitch, you act like I died. What the <laughs> I was like, She was my mom in my head. Oh, that hurt me. Mm. And so. I went to view her body when she was at our African American Museum here, the Ch Charles H. Wright. So y'all know me. I was doing live Facebook there. I stood this long line. I mean, it was wrapped over. They they stole a re. She is Detroit, but that line was so long. So y'all know me. I can't go too long without a cocktail, so I pulled out my little flask, and by the time I got close to the view, I'm feeling mighty good. Now, look, they playing her song. We staying on. Look, you can tell the drunk people, because <laughs> I'm always with the bad crowd, but we feeling good now. Hell, we done had two or three drinks waiting in the damn line. So now the closer we get to, they got two guards standing by Rita's casket. And I'm looking at Rita, and I'm like, with the red bottoms on, like, you better work, Riri. <clears throat> so the closer I got, I kept saying, because they was rushing the people past her casket. It's like, you could only look for a minute, walk, slowly walk. You couldn't stop. I said, you know what I'm going to do? I told my friend, I said, when I get up there, I'm acting like I'm so overcome that I'm going to pass out and faint to where they have to get an ambulance here. I said that video would go viral. It would be all over the internet. Fans so distraught in Detroit passes out at the Queen of Souls camp. Oh my God. You know what? That's the one thing I regret in my life not doing. I should have had that moment. Riri, I'm sorry. My mom, I called my mom and told her. She said, really, bitch? Really? You gonna make this moment about you, Michael? This woman in a casket dead, and you gonna? I say, Mama, that was on my spirit. It was on my spirit, down in my spirit to do that. My mama stopped me because I swear I was really. I'm a good actor. I could have fainted, and it would have been so dramatic. I would have fell over the rope. Well, you know the rope that hit. I would have fell over that rope and made the big thing fall on me. Oh my! I would have kicked the shoe off on purpose, broke my. Oh yeah. And then. I would have been on every damn news explaining why the hell I fell out. Mama, damn it, made me miss my mama. Oh, I'll find another one. I'll find another moment. Okay, I don't know what's the best on here. 
So, yes, I am a diehard Aretha fan. I get so mad when people want to... You can't compare nobody to Aretha. There is no comparison. You can't compare Patty, Gladys. They all got their niche, but it ain't no Aretha niche. And when they start even saying Beyonce Queen, because, see, you, I hope they don't think they're going to get... I love B. I love you, B. But you can't have that queen title. No, you the queen of something else. But the queen of soul, baby, the queen of music. You see, they had to give uh, Whitney the voice, and I love Whitney's voice. Natalie Cole sound so much like Aretha and back in her younger day. They had to call her the princess of soul, but she couldn't be called the queen. Mm -mm. And as long as I got breath in my body, she will be directed as such. <laughs> um, Detroit, like we got a Rita Franklin High, I mean, street. They about to make half of our highway after her. There's a big performance center where all of the acts, the big acts go. They changed it from Shane Park to the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. I wish they had it done more while she was here. I mean, they did name the street after her, but she started crying. It was so beautiful. Oh. Another thing they did was they voted Aretha Franklin's voice here in Detroit as a natural resource. Her voice in Detroit or in Michigan is a natural resource. That means you have gas, you got water, and you got Aretha Franklin's voice. You need those things to survive. You need Aretha's voice to make it. Mmm. Cause she got me through some shit. Ain't no way for me to love you if you won't let me. Her hard truth is a man when you're doing the best that you can. Oh, come on, Riri. Ain't no way. How can I love you when you tie both of my hands? That's the part. How can I love you when you tie both of my hands? I say, bitch, that's deep. Oh, y'all know I cuss. Oh, I can give you another song. Oh. Oh, this is good. I'm having a moment with Aretha right now. Thanks, Queen. I love you. I love you, too. Will you call me the moment you get there? <laughs> Riri. Yes, baby. This is the house that Jack built, y'all. Remember the house. This was a hand that he worked by land. This was a land of an upright man. Okay, come on, y'all. Uh-uh, Riri. Huh. You know, I grew up with her. You know, then I got into an, uh, <laughs> got in that stage where I started doing it. Oh, I was doing it then. Get it back. Giving him some. That he can feel. Oh, to let him know this love is real. Oh, God, did I do some nasty shit off of that? My, my, my. Come on, Aretha. Aretha had me go through a whole stage of my life. Jump, jump, jump to it. Ha. Hey, when my baby calls, so do, 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 do it out. Hey, to the girl, I dig it. She said, now that my, hand, my husband going to be here in a minute. Oh. Then I went through the stage where I was in the relationship. A strong, solid one. Hmm. In love. Was in that relationship for eight and a half years. <coughs> but then I had friends coming around. And another Rita Franklin song had to come to me. I said, I tell you, girl. I dig you, but I just don't have time to sit and chit and chit chat and smile. She said, now, I don't mind company. Because company's all right with me every once in a while. Huh. Huh. She said, but I tell you, <clears throat> me and my mother, my brother, or my sister, would you believe 
I get up, put on some clothes, go out and help them find somebody for themselves if I can. Yes, I will. Now, I don't mind company because company is all right with me. Uh. Oh, baby, Rita did that. Rita didn't play about a man. Uh-uh. And then I remember one day I was feeling down and I was feeling lowly. No. I, I was I was all right. Her son say, uh, I woke up early this morning <laughs> and the blues walked in on me. Yesterday I sang a love song, but today I see the blues. <laughs> I just thought we were... Uh, she saying, uh, giving him something he could feel better than any any other person who's ever done that. Oh, and we ain't even finna go into her back in the uh, gospel day. I didn't know she smoked cigarettes like that. But the greatest woman to ever grace a mic. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Louise Franklin, baby. There will be none after her. Mm -mm. Uh, yes, Aretha. You know, some of the most talented and famous people have one or two things. Either they're named Michael or they're from Detroit. Those are the two people that, I mean, those. And listen to this. My name just so happened to be Michael, and I'm from Detroit, and I'm talented as hell. Thank you guys for letting me rant and, and rave about the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. I love her. I love her. Her music will live on. I still listen to her. Hell, I'm going to get off of here and go listen to her. I make love to her. I wash my ass to her. I cook to her. Hell, one time I beat somebody's ass to it. No, <laughs> you better think. Think about what you're trying to do to me. You need me, and I need you. Without each other, there ain't nothing we can do. <laughs> okay, y'all, I love Miss Marita. I'll sing any damn song. I will sing it. Um, gotta find me an angel. In my life, be there and don't you worry. Okay, oh God, I keep going on with it. Who's zooming who? I knew you were waiting. Jumping Jack Flash. Whoa, Rita. My, my precious Lord. Okay. All right, you guys, this is comedian Michael Allen. Thank you for dealing with me and my crazy ass um, once again. But if this is your first time here, please go down there, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment on my channel, and why don't you go ahead and share my channel. Tell people to come on in. Come on, y'all, we try to get to that thousand. So that way I can do a live bit. I like to talk live, y'all. See, I like talking shit. All right, you guys, this is Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, the 4C Gang. Well, we do what? We cook. I'll cook you up something. We do comedy, and I'll even make you laugh. We do cocktails every damn day. And we cuss. Lick my... Each... Maybe I... Well, we cuss on this motherfucker. How about that? <laughs> All right, you guys. Love yourself. Because I love you. But I don't love you more than I love me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Comedian Michael Allen. I'm out.